Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing good as well. Thank you so much for asking. Welcome to the show. Thank you so, so much for being here. It is super awesome to start the day with a super conversation with, an, with a super person just like you. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so before we start, I have to give you a Netflix. Yeah, thank you. So before we start, I have to give you a Netflix welcome to the show. So here we go. <laughs> it is epic, I know. It was very epic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right, right, right. Now, starting with the whole interview now, tell me where does your passion for acting start? Um, it's so funny. I feel like I think some people are just, I, I think you're just born with a purpose. And like, uh, I was always the kid that was like jumping on the tables to sing for everybody. Um, yeah. or like the family parties. And I was like, I've got something to show you. So I think it just kind of started there. Like I've always performed. Um, and then it just, it's kind of like manifested. I fell in love with theater. I, I went to school for it. And um, yeah, I do it professionally now. Perfect. And what were some of the challenges that you had when you started with your career? I think the hardest thing is starting. It's kind of, it's kind of like a catch-22. It's like um, creating a network of people, knowing like what resources to use, knowing how breakdowns work. It's sort of like, um, you know, when I studied in school, it's like you get really, really good at your craft. And then you're just, and then you're just, you're just out in the real world, which I, I think a lot of industries are, are probably like. So, uh, starting and like knowing people and knowing what to do is is the most difficult thing. And but but it gets easier, and you get to develop relationships with people and, and grow. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it is interesting, right? Like whenever you you will start like this new, this, let's say like this new project or this new thing on your life, at first it's gonna be challenging, chaotic and scary at some point, you know? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Then, in, well, so in 2009, sorry, mm -hmm. in 2019, you were in Unrelatable. Tell me about yes. your character, and was that like your first TV show? Yeah, it was, and I was I was fresh out here, and it was it was so fun. It was um, like a really ditzy, mean girl from Beverly Hills, which was so funny because I was new to LA too, and I <laughs> it was my first experience with, with like yeah. that type of, of character um so that one i just i had a ton of fun uh working on that and it was with some very very close people uh so that was that was a blast that is really cool that is really cool and tell me how you usually prepare a character um it's you know it's di it's a little different from character to character go through so i've got um like a hundred questions that i ask myself like okay where am i from what is my relationship with my parents? What's my relationship with the other character? What do I eat for breakfast? Um, mm. How do I walk out in the world? Do I have a morning routine? Like really try to get into the psychology yeah. of the character. Um, and then I'll go back to the script, um, uh, like after I've learned the lines and I'll look for clues and like things I haven't seen before. Um, and then I'll start to, <laughs> this is like the best thing about acting is like, it's a ton of play. It's just like adult play. So I'll mm. like, um, I'll walk around my house as this character like um i'll try on a different accent i'll try on a different walk i'll, mm. I'll see like can they dance like i just do i try to find like fun things yeah. um and then like uh once i do that i also i also try to go extreme so i'll try to play this character like super super muted and then i'll try to do them like really big and over the top and, and kind of see like what feels good and and just like play around with it and like like it really sinks into your bones so deep that um you come out with with the performance that's so amazing wow and what are some of the, like besides what you just told me what are some of the things that you like the most about playing a character i i love that you can step into like someone that's different than yourself so like um totally. when i'm playing a character it's not ashley so like i'm not vulnerable really it's like mm. you know it's not personal like it's separate so so i can i can do crazy things i can cry i can scream i can murder someone and yeah. <laughs> um but it's like it's like stepping in it's like channeling a part of you but like it's not you so um, yeah totally yeah that's my that's favorite really cool. yeah you know in, in one of the interviews that i had uh, they were saying that uh, that acting has uh, has helped them to kind of to, to kind of 
show like their bad well not like their bad side but what i'm trying to say here is that they like wh whatever they will have like this crazy role they will enjoy it because it's like a break it's it, yeah it's like a break from them you know like to like to put the real person away for a while so you can be this uh this other person and uh and and do all those kind of all those kind of things and it is kind of relaxing it, it is kind of cool whenever you finish that and then you go back to the real you know yeah yeah absolutely because you can just react and just be human and that's what's so fun about watching acting too is like watching people react as people do and yeah there's no, maybe no consequences for it. yeah totally totally <laughs> wow and tell me how you usually prepare before shooting a scene uh right before a scene i try to i try to um i try to remove myself from people and and um uh just sort of like play whatever just happened before that scene starts in my head mm -hmm. so i'll like you know go in the hallway and and just kind of connect with with where i'm coming from and then when you walk into the scene uh try to make it authentic that's cool that's cool yeah. wow uh like what is what is the number one thing that you always bring with you when you when you have to go shoot either a film series like yeah like what is the number one thing you always uh is there with you um i would say when i I have this, um, <laughs> this is, maybe you didn't mean this physically, but I have um, a ring that my, from my grandma that I always carry. <laughs> and I bring that, kind of, it's kind of like a superstition that's like my good luck charm. Um, yeah, but but mentally, um, and this is funny, I actually try to let everything go. Like if I'm doing a role, I'll, I'll do like a lot of preparation mm. and then I'll just like try to forget it all and just kind of show up with whatever comes that day. Cause like, you know, things change, circumstances change and want to be like open to that yeah wow that's so nice then in 2020 you were in sketch in stone so tell me about so tell me about that show and that what was, were some yeah. of the things that you liked about it that was so much fun that was such a fun fun experience um that was actually uh like a sketch comedy series and we were all it was like the middle of the pandemic and all of us were, were um not having auditions and not working and, and kind of going stir crazy at home and, and yeah. someone I knew reached out to me and, and asked if we wanted to try this sketch comedy series, uh, which I've I hadn't done and it was it was so much fun to, to meet those people and work on that and, and see the writing come to life. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah. And like what are like what do you think it's important for young act for young actors to know who recently started their career? Don't give up. <laughs> Don't give up. It takes so long to get started. It takes so yeah, totally. long to, to get your bearings and find an agent, find your friends, find a class. Um, it's a lot of lot of input, but the output is is so worthwhile. So just just keep. Don't give up. <laughs> yeah, true. You know, it's funny. I think one of the one of the things that that probably schools should do is that whenever you are learning this new career or something, they should be telling you like 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 what is like real life you know what i mean because they will always tell you that yeah as soon as you finish you will, you're gonna reach for the stars and have everything you want you know like they pretty much built you like with the morale like way way high and then when you when you step up into the real world then you realize that it's not like that and and it gets yeah as uh, as we were saying before it gets challenging and it gets tough and it gets scary because it has all the competition you 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 have and also you don't know what you don't know how to start you know you, you, you know what i mean i i should I, yeah. I, i i always think that they should like teach you how like teach you life you know what i mean like how life yeah. really really gonna be otherwise uh yeah otherwise we're gonna still have like this wave yeah like this wave of generations that they think that that the that the world is on the it's at their palm but when they realize it's not like that you know Yeah, and I think the hardest thing too is is people come out here and they feel like they're not worthy. Like all of a sudden they came from this really supportive place and then they're out here, um, which is I'm glad you brought that up. That that's something like in college you get these moody moody roles and you you get to play or even in theater like if you do an off Broadway show or something like you get these characters and like you get to go so in depth um, and then you move to California and it's like background girl number two, cheerleader number three. And you have like one word. And it's kind of like you were saying. It's it's kind of uh, takes a mental toll because you're like, wait a second, I ha well, like it. It takes a while to reconcile like where you came from and where you're going. So 
that's that's important. Yeah, super important. I mean, it, they should definitely, uh, yeah, like prepare, like really prepare you, and not lifting your morale so high that when you, yeah, when you when you were in, in the real world, the fall is not is not is not gonna be that that hard, you know. Um, the, I mean, I saw it with my with my classmates back back in college that everybody was like so excited and they were like building their morale super high. And then when they when they like when they step up into the you know finding a job and everything, yeah, it was horrible, <laughs> you know. And and yeah, that is one of the things that. Uh, but but at the same time, I do believe also that if you love what you're doing and, and, and it's really like your passion, like those hard moments or those moments when you fall, they're gonna be more like as a learning experience, you know. Yeah, yeah. And and the people who stick it out are like. If this is the only thing that you can do, then this is what you're here to do. Totally, totally. Now, tell me, what do you think is important for uh, for storytelling? I think uh, for oh, storytelling is so beautiful. I love the history of storytelling and, and people around a campfire, and it's like yeah. not only like so, like it's been used for lessons, for emotional relation, for for catharsis, and. Um, I think it's like the most human thing that we could possibly do. So it's like mm. it's something I'm, I'm I love being a part of. Wow! And what are some of it? Uh, like, if you could describe your career at the moment on a movie or a TV show, what would be the title of it? Uh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> you Especially you after this year. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, this was like this was a really challenging year for the industry. So it's it's just like a series of hang on. Um, I, I think every actor has that experience when they move uh, to a new city. Um, it's just like yeah. block after block. It's like a challenge and a reward and a challenge and a reward. And it's, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, besides acting, you're also a producer. So tell me, what are some of the things that you enjoy the most about producing? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm new to producing, which has been really, really fun. And like, a, um, as an actor, it's like you're kind of insulated from everything else that's going on, like schedule, timing, finances, like all the, you know, you just have to worry about the craft. Um, so yeah. that's been really fun. Uh, but then also on the flip side of it, um, act, as an actor, you don't really have much say. Like you have a develop, you have a relationship with the director, and yeah. that's it. You you don't you don't get to make any decisions. But as a producer you do so you i had um you know perspective on like shots and location and and i got to be much more involved in like creating that character which was really fun that's cool that's really cool and what are some of the things that you have uh learned as a producer um, oh man uh things i've learned as a producer uh you're never on budget you're never on schedule <laughs> yeah, but you just got to keep rolling with it you just you just uh, which is funny because, like, again, from an acting perspective, like, sometimes you're holding on set and it's like, it's like taking forever and you're like, why can't you just light it? I don't really get it. Um, but then, like, from a production standpoint, it's like you see everything that's that you need to fix or that's going wrong and or getting off track. Um, yeah. So that's been that's been really, really fun to just see, like, a 180 perspective. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. Which, by the way, I just noticed that we have Bailey here watching. So if you haven't watched the interview I have with Bailey, go check it now. She's super awesome. And she's super awesome. Yeah, and she's and she, since she's here right now, let me give her a quick shout out, like super quick. Here we go. Yes, hi Bailey. Okay. Also, a uh, super talented actor, singer, producer. Reach. There you go. Yes. There you go. Yeah, definitely. If you haven't, those who are watching this right now or watching this later on the, on the YouTube or listening on the podcast, make sure that you're watching the Bailey interview and then jump to this one for sure. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So get so again back with the uh, back with the interview here. Uh, tell me, like, uh, what are what can we expect uh, from the future on your career? Uh, so this this is kind of a fun a fun moment for me. I'm I'm I have a hand in a lot of creative projects right now, um, where I'm trying like not only like seeing what I get, but also trying to like have my voice and my character and uh, work on some yeah. like underground things. Uh, so I've been working with with 
up and coming writers and producers and web series and and trying to have some like original content out there, which is exciting. Um, yeah, I got some other auditions in the work. Um, I'm also um, a musician, so I've been writing an album. So uh, lots of yeah. things, yeah. lots of things coming. That's so amazing. That's so amazing. Now. I wonder, like, tell me what motivates you, or yeah, or like what drives you. I mean, we will see like a lot of interesting, yeah, like basically your career is super cool here, and we will see a lot of interesting things on your Instagram, from playing guitar to like uh, to like uh, fun videos here and there. It's really amazing posts. So I wonder, like, what what like what drives you? Like, what pushes you every day to be like, I want to keep pursuing this. And I want to keep moving because I think that for a lot of people, right, that whenever they want to, they're, they're following their dreams, it can be challenging or it can be tough whenever they're starting or like, even though whenever they are like in the middle of it, right, they can, it can get like very tough. So I wonder like what pushes you to keep up because basically you're doing here a really awesome job. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, it, it's really, it's really, really tough. Um, and I think like for anybody that's trying to pursue their passions like it, it's hard and your life it my life is so different than than my peers or people around me and i think about it a lot but it's yeah i think what really drives me is that i i can't do anything else i can't i can't picture myself anywhere else for like live being happy or content uh oh. in another career or another path it's like i just i have to create i have to sing i have to perform um it's just it's just kind of in me Totally, yeah. And like any advice to people who recently started like following the dream? Yes, um, the, the most valuable advice I could give is just to thine own self be true. Um, and you're gonna hear so many things from, from so many opinions from directors, producers, casting directors of like how, how so-and-so made it and what so-and-so did. And like, I think with yeah. young actors that can sink in a lot of the times and be like, oh, I have to do this, I have to try that. Um, just be you because what you are is what everyone wants to see and your path is going to be so different so so don't get caught up in, in what you should be doing and just do what's authentic to you yeah totally totally I, I agree on that yeah that, that's really cool and you know like with all of with, with all of this interview that I had with uh, with all with, I mean with this one of this huge group of talented people that I that I have spoke to uh, like every story is different you know like everybody is like is like their own you know they're not like trying i mean yeah they're not like trying to copy somebody else they're just they you know what i mean they are real really. they are real and i think that is one of the things that are super cool and and and, and i do also think that that you need to be you you know we have like uh we have like a lot of people who would try to be somebody else and the fact that you can just be you that's really cool yeah i think i agree i agree yeah yeah well i mean at the end actually what can i say i mean you definitely have a really awesome career here. I'm super sure that a lot of amazing things are, are coming, are coming like super, super soon. Because at the end of the day, you are just being you. And when you reel, all of those things that come taste like a super different. You know, if that is, if you were like trying to be somebody else, and the fact that you're that you're just being you, that you're uh, that you're uh, being dispassionate about your acting career, and also with the music, which I can't wait to, to listen to this cool yes. album. <laughs> Because Thank you definitely you. have a talent. I mean, you definitely have talent with singing. I mean, if you haven't, if you haven't watched Ashley singing, definitely do it now, like right now. And uh, and I mean, Ashley, at the end, yeah. Th thank you so much for uh, for uh, for giving me the opportunity to uh, to uh, speak with you. Definitely, it's a great start for for the day. So again, if, yes. if you're listening to this later on the podcast or watching this later on the YouTube, make sure that you follow me on social yes, media. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Now, before I send you off, I need to send you off super epic, like 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 badass epic. So first, I have to give you a, a huge shout out because we finished the question. So. <laughs> And, uh, and again, uh, keep being super awesome. And the last one, so I can send you up in a proper, badass, epic way. Here we go. Can't wait. <laughs> and again, thank you so much. Keep having an amazing rest of the day, an amazing rest of the week. Um, thank and you, also too. Again, thank you. 
so much for those who for those who are who are watching and support Ashley because she rocks. And she's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.